King Demon Beast of Earth. This sounds a bit scary, that's silly episode two. They haven't got the exclusive. Who's the kid? That's uh, modern day. How long ago was he here? Well, now the building's gone, now you can see the sunset, mate. Oh, it's a sinkhole. I thought there was a kaiju there. What? Oh, well, that's okay. He was. Yeah, it's another sinkhole. Great. Oh, he's adding another one? Okay, I guess he knew who was coming. Oh, <laughs> that's not even the show. That's that's him playing an instrument. <laughs> Is it really? So your idea is to go into the building? I mean, uh, fair enough, want to save people. Well, it wasn't that building, it was the other one. Bubbly coffee. So this is what she does to pay the rent, okay. It could be worse. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that's not a good day. That's not that's not a good day. You were sure last time. Are you sure this time? Kidora <laughs> with one head. She sees juggler. Has no idea who he is. She's followed him into a dark building. It's not a good idea. <laughs> you got to get out of there. Yeah, it is just uh, all of this is bad vibes. <laughs> Trying to film the juggler. Yep. Now you have a problem. In different circumstances. He definitely knows her. I guarantee he knows her from a different. They both know her. I, I, that's my theory. They both know who she is. We'll see about that. Well, yeah, it's waking up now. It's coming. It's coming. Feel like this will be uh, a <laughs> pretty tough battle. It seems very mechanical, like very robot-like. Gonna need to use more than that. You know what this camera crew needs? They need live feed to their website. Now that would generate views. <laughs> So how's he gonna beat this thing? 
Well, at least it knows how to make perfect circles. She just froze, basically. I've tried running. <laughs> now what? Wait, it bounced off that building, didn't it? Why? Using its own power against it. Seems like he's found a way. Very quickly. Well, that's how you beat it. Use its own power against it. Okay. Juggler's not happy. Not happy at all. <laughs> They're very happy, but <laughs> look at the background. Oh wow. Another upgrade. It's like watching a game. After every battle, it gets a new upgrade. He's got all of these, but he's still gonna call Hayata and Tiga <laughs> all the time. Is this just a random kid that he just made friends with? <laughs> Maybe he just likes the spot and that's where the kid lives. At least he can see the sunset. They always come across him. <laughs> Yeah, he, he knows a little bit, yes. A lot. Guy. He's just a guy, mate. He's just, yeah. <laughs> that was good. That, that was uh, interesting. At first, I was just like, that Kaiju's a little bit OP for episode two. But uh, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, I remember like when I was uh, talking about what shows I want to watch, I remember in the comments, like someone said, uh, one of the big things about Ultraman Orb is the mystery of it. Because there's like, a, there's an origin saga, but like, it's better to watch this without the origin saga, just, just to like, see the mystery of it and, you know, to be a bit more surprised and intrigued. And it definitely works on me. <laughs> um, I don't know what's in Origin Saga, but obviously uh, by not watching it, <laughs> there's plenty of uh, uh, plenty of content we won't have. But like, I'll definitely I'll check it out after. I think uh, I'll probably do it as a movie Monday, probably. Uh, that's what probably, I know. It's twelve episodes, and it's it's quite like it's like it's still like half a series. Uh, but I'll probably just do it like that because I want to start Max. So uh, yes. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm gonna watch it after I finish this show. I'm definitely gonna watch it. There'll be at least a review video on it, don't worry. But uh, yeah, just definitely, I think I made the right decision watching this without watching uh, Origin Saga because some people said watch Origin Saga first, other people said don't watch it first. Um, I listened to the second half uh, and I watched this without the Origin Saga because like, apparently the mystery of it is really good. Apparently that's like a big part of the show. So uh, I will be happy to for it to be a mystery but it's interesting because you know obviously it's not like uh the start of a normal show it's like he's already ultraman the villain's already a villain they've known each other for a while i think that girl is somehow connected for sure i mean we saw it at the very start of episode one we saw her maybe in the future or the past i don't know but i'm pretty sure that was her she looked a bit different because of the lighting but i'm still pretty sure that was her so like something's up and I feel like both of them know who she is, and she's probably important to the story. I don't know how, <laughs> but I'll find out. But that was a good episode too. Uh, I quite liked it. It's a good setup. Uh, Juggler's a l much more sinister here. Like, he wasn't like really a good guy in Zed, but still, he was more like an anti-hero. So I'm just, I'm curious to know what changed him from this to what he was in Z, and it, but he was in Jeed as well wasn't he so like there's still plenty of context I won't have without watching Jeed but still um, he seems a bit more fun and laid back in uh, in Ultraman Z so I'm just curious how he changed and he's a lot, lot younger as well you can tell in his voice he's a lot younger here so uh, yeah a, a very uh, a much more angry version but I'm sure 
he probably won't be the only villain in this show, but I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be?